Hey guys, I'm Alex from AmericanMuscle.com and today I'm bringing you my quick review and breakdown of the ProCar Sportsman Pro Black Vinyl Reclining Seat fitting your 1979 through 2014 Mustang. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the construction and materials that went into this seat. We're gonna talk about who this might appeal to and why you might wanna get into a set of aftermarket seats, what you should expect to be spending, and then we're gonna take a very quick glance at what's entailed to get these installed. We're gonna be looking at a light to a moderate, one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter, and about one to two hours per side, and I'll have a little bit more for you on that later. So the Procar Sportsman that I have here in front of you today should definitely appeal to a few different types of Mustang owners out there, and first and foremost, foremost, it's going to be for the owner that's running an older car that doesn't necessarily want to pull their seats out, take them down to an upholstery or body shop, and have them rewrapped as it can definitely be a little bit on the costly side. So the next group of owners out there that I think this would definitely appeal to would be the guys that are looking to get out of their factory style seats and into something that's not only going to be a little bit more race inspired, but it's going to keep you safe and secure when you're pushing your car through the turns, be it on a road course, autocross, or if you're just looking, it's going to give you a little bit more support down low as well as up top. So additionally, for the previous reasons, if you're in the process of building a dedicated time attack, road course, or even a drag car, these might appeal to you because they're gonna weigh considerably less than what you might find coming out of your car from the factory. Now we're gonna see that these are gonna come in right around 25 to 30 pounds, and I definitely mean that they weigh damn near nothing as you can pick them up with about one hand here. So the last type of owner out there that I think this might appeal to would be the shapelier Mustang owner, kinda like myself, that's gonna be looking for a little bit more comfort in the event that you're gonna have trouble driving your own car. Now, having sat with this in a car as well as on the floor in a couple different places around here, I can definitely attest to this having more than adequate support for your hips and your rear end and down around your waistline. So in terms of the construction and materials here, guys, right out of the box, it's evident this is definitely pretty well built despite being a budget-minded seat. The back of the seat's gonna have a gloss black finish, which I think is pretty trick. Additionally here on the bolsters on the side as well as up top, they're gonna to have a little bit of a carbon fiber weave. The ProCar logo itself is gonna have a little bit of a felt look to it. And the stitching and the vinyl is just pretty top notch for how much you're gonna be paying. And I'll get a little bit more into that for you later. So the specific series that I have here today is not only gonna be aggressive and give you a much cooler look inside of your car, as well as being a little bit more comfortable for a certain body type, but you're gonna see that this is gonna have harness pass-throughs here. So just like I said previously, if you're building a time attack car, dedicated drag car, you're gonna need that. And it's definitely something that I'd pay attention to when you're shopping for seats online. So again, guys, if you're looking at picking up a set of aftermarket seats for your Mustang, you're probably doing it for one of the reasons that I had mentioned previously. In terms of looks department, between the 79 and the 2014, I think it's pretty all right looking. This honestly isn't my own cup of tea. I'm more of an old school guy. I love the look of a simple Recaro, something you might find out of a Celine Fox body. But let's face facts, money does not grow on trees. Seats can definitely be expensive. I honestly think this is gonna be a great option for someone that's looking for a budget-minded and an entry-level racing seat. Again, if you're looking to build a time attack car or a drag car, or if you're just looking to give your interior some strong looks, as well as give you more support when you're running your car through your turns. All right, guys, so one thing I do wanna mention before we get into the pricing here is that no matter the generation of your Mustang, be it a Fox, an SN95, or a 197, you will need to purchase the brackets to get these installed separately, and I would just make sure to pay close attention to that on the product page. All right, guys, so in terms of the pricing here, you should expect to be spending about 230 bucks per seat, and get or take about another 100 for brackets. And from the money here, I think these are a great entry-level budget my seat to give you a ton of looks on the inside as well as keep you pretty firmly planted. And again, if you're gonna run that in comparison with some of the other options we have on site, you're gonna see they can easily range from anywhere between seven to 800 per seat, all the way up to a couple grand for a full set. So again, for the money here, you're gonna be getting away some pretty good looks as well as having the ability to keep you in the seat. But I do wanna call out there that it's gonna be dependent upon the look that you're after as well as how much you wanna spend. And they're gonna be pretty directly related to each other. All right guys, so switching gears to the installation portion of the video, just like I had set up top, you're gonna to be looking at a pretty light to a moderate one out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter and probably about one to two hours per side here. 
Now I do want to mention that for this specific seat, we're going to be installing this in an S197 and it might differ from a Fox body to an SN95, but if you've ever pulled your seats out of your car before, you're really not looking at brain surgery here and a basic socket set, a little bit of elbow grease, should have your factory seats out in about one to two hours per side. Get these swapped back in and you're good to go. All right, guys, so just to wrap things up here, some final thoughts. I definitely like this option from Pro Car based on a couple different features here. The looks are great. This is definitely pretty well built and it's definitely budget minded. Again, you're gonna be paying about 230 per seat here. Run that in comparison to about seven or 800 bucks. You're gonna be getting some very good looks. Great support down low, as well as for your waist or the gut region. But again, for someone that's gonna be a little bit more top heavy like myself, have a little bit more of a broad build, I might look at some other options as it's a little bit tight up in here for me. And I could see that being a little bit of a nuisance on some long drives. But being said here, if you're just looking to get some really great looks, building a time attack, drag car or a road course car, this is gonna be a perfect budget friendly option for you. All right, so that's my quick review and breakdown of the Pro Car Sportsman Pro Black Vinyl Reclining Seat for your 1979 through 2014 Mustang, available right here at AmericanMuscle.com.